Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is about Global Academy of Technology, GAT College in Bangalore. So this is what I am going to cover with respect to the overall college review and the placement details. So this college was started in 2001 and it's one of the autonomous engineering college in Bangalore, right? And the college is uh, located in Rajarajeshwari Nagar and it's around 10 acres of area. So it's a decent infrastructure college. So this is the main building which is quite beautiful and infrastructure is decent and this college is an autonomous college as I mentioned earlier. So this is one of the options if you want to study in autonomous college and this is affiliated to VTU. Apart from being affiliated to VTU, it's approved by AICTE and it's recognized by government of Karnataka. So this college is actually owned by uh, DK Shiv Kumar who is the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, right? So he is the person behind the college and this is one of the picture of their main building, right? Which is there and these are some of the pictures of the college overall infrastructure. This is one of the picture from their AIML department and these are some of the events which they host like aeronautical aerospace and mechanical design conference which was hosted in the 2024 and this is picture of their hostel facility so hostels are available for both girls and boys on the campus itself so i have made a bigger video of campus too you can check there but talking about the branches which are available you can study here computer science engineering and information science engineering which is isc branch and then you have also have electronics and communication engineering ece and electrical and electronics engineering which is triple e branch then you have civil engineering department which you, and you have mechanical engineering department and in the specialization side you have artificial intelligence and data sciences which is AIDS branch. Apart from AIDS branch you can also study AIML branch which is artificial intelligence and machine learning and there is one more branch with a similar name which is CSC with AIML right. So both options are there and then you have aeronautical engineering which I have shown earlier. And you have a science and humanities and the MBA department also, which I'm not going to cover in this particular video. For 2024 batch, which is the companies which have come, some of them like emphasis, which is in IT zone. And these are some of the students who have got into uh, emphasis. So by the registration number of the students, you can also know the branch. So emphasis from aerospace, aerospace department, which is AD. Then you have a student whose uh, number is CS, which means computer science department. And other in other student, you can check it is mentioned IS, which is information science engineering. So you also know the students uh, from which branch are got have got place. So this is emphasis. So this is the continuous list for emphasis. And again, you can see one more student in information science. In fact, all the three students are from information science engineering, which got the all the placements of six students in emphasis. Moving further, there is a 24-25 batch. There is MU Sigma, which is one of the good IT services company and based out of Bangalore. And two students got placed there, you can see. Now, there is a Foxconn, which is one of the Apple's, you know, biggest uh, manufacturer and product across her. so they have taken actually a very good number 15 students at good package so these are three of the students who got selected at foxconn and these are still continuing the foxconn list so another 10 students so 10 plus 3 13 students got placed at foxconn which is a good placements and a good career option moving next company is tech mahindra which is also in it services space and they have also taken good number of students so in this particular sheet you are seeing four students who got placed at tech mahindra and these are some more around 10 more students so 10 10 plus 4 14 students got placed with the tech mahindra package is around 4 to 4.5 lakh rupees per year now moving further the specifically for department of electrical electronics all the placements going on in 24 25 batch you can see students even placed with ibm infosys two students you can see imeg one student is there from electrical department and solar edge another company where one student you can see in this sheet moving further you see in the same company solar edge two more students so total three students there placed indecent assist right in that company you can see around seven to eight students got placed from electrical department now moving further there is another mass equipment company called coleaf and they have also taken four students if you can see in this particular sheet and additional 10 students who got placed in the same company so total 10 plus 4 14 students got placed there 
and these are all the latest placement of 24 25 batch which is the ongoing placement one more student placed with this company called cello and then there are smaller companies like b practical tech solutions where you see three students placed not talking about that overall placement trends for last three years up to 2024 batch which the placement data is available so in 2022 batch placement was good 757 students eligible 616 got placed with the median salary of 5.17 lakhs so that was quite good but in 2023 onwards there is some decline in the placements and you can see out of 643 students who were you know passing 478 only can be placed and the median salary slightly increased to 5.28 lakhs but if you see the latest placement trend which is for 2024 batch where the market was quite tough the total number of students graduating were 813 and out of which only 336 got placed so you can understand the placement is around 40 to 45 percent it was less than 50 percent placement and the median salary also dropped you can see it is just 3 lakhs from 5.28 lakhs which is a drop in placement in the last year this year it is showing better trend but last year's placement trend is what i can show here as per the nirf data that's all i have to cover in this video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in karnataka take care and bye